days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I mean, he, he went after him. He said, and they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple. We recognize, and that's a good thing, we recognize that you as a disciple, but we are Moses. Religion again, pushing it back into religion, right? Oh, but we are Moses' disciple. Oh, not, not the Messiah's disciple. We know. Look at this. Look at this. And how they know? Can I ask you a question for you on that? Can you ask that question for us that that, that, that will listen? They say right here, we know that God spake unto Moses. We know that. As to this fellow, we know not from where is he is. But we do know that God spake to Moses. Yeah. How, 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 did, how did that? How did we know that if we stick with what God said to Moses, then we keep this little authority and power that we have. Right, sir. And we let no one else come in outside of that and remove us from our position. Uh -huh. So we're going to say something that's going to justify us. <laughs> we're trying to justify us now. Uh -huh. <laughs> because we we can't do what just happened. So let's go back. You know, I that's deep. <laughs> I ain't lose you, then. We got a lost you. Oh man, I think that was a good one. You get ready to say to it. I, I, I hope he comes back. Come on back, brother Allison. <laughs> hey, this is a marvelous thing. I lost him. Come on back, brother. <laughs> you still ain't back yet. Let me, let me, let me. I hope he ain't dropped out. Man, that, you back? Oh, you go. You have to dial back in, man. And think about what he, what he. I know what those are who who uh, may hear this later. Uh, you may not be watching now. Look at that. It says that how people will sit there and say, "We know that God spake unto Moses." As for this fellow, we know not for whence he is. And and then the man answered. The man answered him and said unto them, "Hey, he's back. He's back." I, you got kicked out. Well, tell me what you get ready to say, because I wanted to hear that. I mean, you might have forgot what you said. <laughs> tell me what the Lord said through you, through you about that, how they said they know Moses, but they didn't. They don't know about this man. <laughs> they they were they went from disqualifying Christ. Yes, sir. To justifying themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and not that they had any authority or power. They had to go to somebody that they knew. They knew. Had and power. Right. That's the thing. You know, we didn't win the Super Bowl this year, but but 10 years ago, <laughs> we our, this team won the Super Bowl, so that makes me great. Yeah. Because of somebody in the past. Come on now. And so... <laughs> Yeah. But that's how religious people do, right? That's how they, we 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 we'll pull some pieces of the authority. We'll pick and choose and cherry pick the things that would justify our position. Yeah. And and yet and they, and they weren't even there. You you're talking about faith is they they this we're talking what thousands of years before yeah. them. We know Moses, but but this guy who look who is right here, right now. Perform a miracle. Yeah, and doing greater work. <laughs> How about that? He could see the man said, Who, who, since the time have you seen somebody open the eyes of a blind man? You know what I mean? 
I mean, I think he even said it, right? He said it. He answered it. He said, the I'm man, the, the, yeah, verse 30. The man answered and said unto them, what, why herein is a marvelous miracle or marvelous thing that we, that you know, not from whence he is. And yet he opened my eyes. And he's preaching to him now. Now, now we know. Look, he said, look, I'm going to bring you in this conversation. I'm going to bring anybody else in this conversation. We know that God hears not a sinner. We know that. That's why you called him a sinner. That's, that's why you gave him that identity. That's what you say he is. And that's how people say that on us or individuals how we want to give them a title other than a child of God. See, I like to, because you restart off this whole conversation last week, going from week before, of saying, what does God say that I am? Or who does God say that I am? What am I? This is something for everybody that's listening or will listen is this. You are a child of God. Don't get off that position. A joint heir with Christ Jesus. Don't come off that position. Don't let no man, just like you said earlier, no one can separate you from the love of God. You are who he says you are, not what people say you are. Because if you ever, if you get off of that, now here's your depression. Couldn't think about it. When somebody sit there trying to say, there's no God. What does that give you? What What's the payoff for acknowledging that you have no God? What, what, what benefit did you get out of it? Because now, only the, who do I glorify now? Who do I look up to now for a miracle, for a marvelous thing? Who, where, where do I go? I know I can't get it from you. And I'm talking about mankind. And you know what? More important than that, I know I can't get it from myself. So now I have no hope. You know, that's what it is, Ephesians, right? You've been at one time with no hope, no God in your life. Isn't that something? That's a whole tent of, I think, I think maybe that maybe there's a little point here. Maybe why man wants you to get approval from him is because he knows that if you would get approval from God, then you would not receive what they have to say. <laughs> Deep. That's why people try to give you another title. And I'm talking about people listening. I'm going to have to summarize this in some way. That's what people want to give you another title. That's why they want to sit there and call you other than a child of God. They'll call you, you know, we know that, right? There's people that call, they'll call you everything else but a child of God. Yeah. <laughs> why? Because they know that, I think verse 31 is significant in itself. When he even said it, we know that God here is not a sinner or not sinners. Oh, let's put that. Oh, excuse me. Did you hear what you just said? Not, I, I, I did say sinner at first, but there's an S on there. Yeah. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. We know that God does not hear sinners. We know that. Now, you know, I'm going to ask you a question on that. Is that a true statement? No. No, it's not. So how, how, can, I, how can I call on them? <laughs> how, how can I ask them? How can I repent? How can I petition? If he don't hear me. Wow, think about that. That but that's a way of man thinking. Now, I mean, I'm not saying the man is putting them down. But I'm saying is he's really trying to say what they're saying. Yeah, that's yeah. why they call Jesus a sinner, because you know if I can get you to take the narrative I give you, then you can not receive what he did to you, right? You know. So let me read that 31. Come here, as we as we, as we wrap that thing up, man, it says. If any man be a worshiper of God and does his will, 
he heareth. Now the thing about it is that his true statement there is that if you do his will, because he didn't want to hear your mess, but he does want to hear his will. And I know in my case, they say, when you pray, pray his will. What does his will say, right? By his stripes, I'm here. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What, what? Sir, Lord, I'm only going to repeat what you said when I'm petitioning to you. I'm not going to pray my will, just like Jesus said. I love, ooh, Lord Jesus. I mean, because he given he given examples, isn't it? Jesus said in the garden, nevertheless, not my will. But thou will be done. And, and and that's why we always want to stay within his will. And that's that's what the man was correct in verse 31. And doesn't look at that. Let me make sure again. He says by sinner, but for if any man be a worshiper of God and does his will, not your denomination, not somebody else's doctrine, but his will, he hears. Because they hark, I think there's a scripture saying they, they hearken unto his words. What God's word says is what the angels uh, operate on. They hearken unto his words. And that's why it's so important to get the pieces that sect in this, this, this story. Yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this is an awesome story. You see, you have a man that has been blind. <laughs> His eyes are open. Now, not only do we recognize that his eyes, his physical eyes were open, the eyes of his understanding yes. were open. Well, yes. Woo! Not even his parents went against what these religious leaders were trying to say but out of fear. Out of fear. But this man. Begin to minister for the God to these folks with no boldly. Woo! You can go on after thirty-one. Yeah. And he, 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 them facts that they dispute, <laughs> which is what Jesus does. But come on now, come on. <laughs> Jesus gives you point blank fact based on the word you cannot go around you cannot go over under uh -huh. you can't even change it yes sir yes sir and this this blind man whose eyes and understanding have been opened because we reading it right here he said minister to these religious leaders where they had a, 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 this very moment they could have repented right there and right. received information and repented of what they were trying to do. Wow. Because they couldn't get past this. Yes. You'll see. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You know, I was thinking about go back to Romans, what you quoted earlier about Romans. And mm -hmm. we're talking about a reprobate mind. And when, it, when in that scripture say he said that he has used creation itself yeah. to say, I, I, I'm God. Yeah, it, it, you, there's it, it, in my head. yeah, there's no, just a, just the wonders of creation itself, just it's, the beauty, it just just in that just screams God. Come on, I was telling, I don't know if I said this to to in this setting or was when I was out uh, talking with folks that there is so much. That green guy <laughs> that it can he just cannot be denied. You can't deny it. Yeah. You cannot I, be denied. And you have people who are taught to deny God. And then you have people who take information to dispute God. Mm. And it's not there information it is something that was given them yeah but then ones that try to prove that this life is not one to follow that god does not exist 
always, when they exhaust all their means, they come to the very fact yeah. that their everything was made by some divine force. Yes, something because it's, it's that, everything that, so that the creation was yes. designed by some someone. Mm, mm, mm. That there is there that there is a a force that designed everything. Yes, sir. Say it's God, but they come to the fact that everything that exists exists because of a being. Yes. And some of them find themselves uh, ministering to themselves in doing so. They do. They find it right. They, it, it, it's like, I like Josh McDowell was one of the great writers, or a good writer anyway, that, that, that said evidence 